Hello. Um, in this exercise, what we're going to be doing is animating this little chap uh, and doing some facial animation with him. So the outcome that you should get should be something like this. So there you go. You can see how that, that moves and everything. don't know whether or not you could hear it. I'm going to guess yes. Okay, so we'll get rid of that. <coughs> so this is the file that you should either have downloaded or should download now because you'll need it. Uh, and the first thing you want to do is just go into your library. Everything else is already set up right. But we'll just have a look. Modify document. It's set to 7, um, 720p and the frame rate is currently at 24. I'm actually going to change that to 12 frames per second because it'll just make it a, a tad easier. Okay, so that's how your document should be set up. And the first thing you've got to do is um, build this character. He's supposed to be based on Simon Cowell. I do think he looks fairly monkey-like. Okay, so what we're going to do is on layer 1, uh, I'm going to rename that and call that body. And then get the body from the library and just stick that in place. So it can go about there. Then I need a new layer. I'm going to call that head, and then from here somewhere, oh, there you go, it's face actually in this. Get that from my library, put that in place. Uh, I'm just going to touch that up with the arrows a bit, that looks okay. Looks pretty creepy so far. Okay, then I need another new layer, and this one, I'll put his chin on. Okay, his chin's actually a separate part, just to add um, a little bit of movement to the face. So I'm just going to drop that in place about there, so that can now move up and down and make it like his chin's moving. Lovely. Okay, what else have we got to add? Um, we're going to need a eye, I think. So an eye. We'll create a layer, and we're going to call this one left eye. And I'm going to get my left eye from here, and you can see I've left a gap in this when I've drawn it, that means that um, I can put an eyeball behind it. So I'm just going to get that as well. Now, I think I've created this one a bit too big. So I'm just going to press Control and T. No, I'm not. Uh, I'm going to use the free transform tool from here. And I'm just going to resize this so that it's not um, a ridiculous size. And try and put it in the right place. Do I like that? Mm, too small. Go bigger. I'm going to resize it over here. That looks a bit better. So I'll drop that in place. Try not to put it in his forehead. Yeah, that looks okay. So that's the left eye. What I'm going to do is duplicate this layer. And I'm going to call it right eye. And then because that's duplicated, if I just click on this and move it over here, I've now got two eyes. Obviously, um, it's facing the wrong way, so I need to flip that. Which, in here, um, I should get the option to flip it as soon as I remember where that lives. Uh, okay, I forget. I'm just going to do it here. So I'm going to drag this past centre to about there. So his eyes might be slightly different sizes. But that'll do. Oh, he's looking looking cool already. He loves it. Okay, so there's my two eyes. I then need to add um, an eyeball to each of those. So left eye needs another new layer above that. So left eye ball. Lovely. And then I'm going to drop that in place. Hmm, that might be a little bit too big. So I'm just going to scale that down as well. Okay, about that size I think, and that needs to go behind the left eye layer, otherwise it will rest on top of it. So there you can see now that, that goes nicely in there. And I'm going to duplicate that layer again to create the other eye. Okay, so I'm going to put that behind the right eye and just rename it right eyeball. It's very important to rename all this because it is going to get messy otherwise. 
then I'm just going to select that and move that over as well. So there you go, he's, he's starting to look like a, a person, kind of. Um, but then from the phonemes folder, we need his mouth. So when he's not speaking, we need resting, which is that one there. So I'm going to put that at the top because it's probably the one I'll have to animate most. So new layer, I'm going to call that mouth. And then we'll drag that into place from here. And hopefully that's the right size. I'll just pop it there. Oh, what a handsome looking devil he is. <gasps> Where's his eyebrows? What am I doing? It's right there. Well, better sticking some eyebrows on as well. So, um, above left eye, I'm going to put left eye brow. Okay, get that. Put that in place. Fuzzy little eyebrow. Duplicate the layer. Then put that next to the right eye. And then we're going to call that right eyebrow. Okay, then move it across here and flip it. Okay, just needs a little bit of tweaking. Put it about there. So there we go, I've got a character now that can be animated with. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to leave this video here. In the next video, we're going to get the audio that we're going to sync to. Um, so, move on to the next video if you've got this far.